everyone welcome back to the studio so today I'm going to make a geode painting using this type of style so do you see where I have created a geode once on a canvas using resin and rocks I actually opened one of my canvases and saw that it has a split in it already so I'm actually going to use an exacto knife open that up place some paper underneath of it so it's a little deeper seal it with hot glue so that it, resin doesn't just keep leaking through and then put some of my gems down in that depth area and around my canvas so let's get started okay so i have my 10 by 20 canvas here is where the hole is already so i'm going to go ahead and use my exacto knife and open that up a little bit now i'm going to open it kind of like a star like I said, I don't want to be too big or too deep. There's a lot of resin involved if you make it too big. All right, so that, that's probably good. All right, so and on this side, I have created a little box out of just cutting up cardboard. And what I'm doing now is I'm sealing the pieces that are back here with hot glue. because I don't want resin to keep leaking through my creation. And I think we've got it. I think it's all sealed. All right, so let me let that dry just a second. All right, and so I finished putting the box on the back and sealing it with some hot glue next i'm going to finish my opening now so you can see where the opening is or where it should be you can cut almost all the way to the end of that depending on what you want this to look like so i'm cutting this because i'm going to go ahead and seal it down in a little bit provide a space for my opening here that i can put a geode in let's see how do i want that that looks good okay and so there's a couple ways you can do this you can you can glue it down you can tape it i prefer to do a little bit of both so i put a little bit of hot glue and i stick this down in the hole and it will actually um, seal by touching that box in the bottom which is nice And then I'll have additional glue that I put on in different places for all these other ones. And once those are sealed to where I want them, but down in here, I'll use a little bit of tape. To make it smoother. And then you've got to get rid of all your strings from your hot glue gun. Now I can use a little bit of masking tape to pretty it up. so I have chosen the items that I'm going to use today are um, add-ins that you can buy at any um, any store you can get these at Walmart you can get these at uh, probably Hobby Lobby um, Pat Catan's Michaels so I'm going to use the diamond look uh, it's actually broken mirrors the sand that's in teal these will be my geodes down in this the depths and i might actually add some actual um, 
granules that kind of look like sand also. I'm going to make this up as I go along, but I'd like to make it look like browns and teals. So to get this started, instead of using resin, I'm going to actually, I got these at Salvation Army. Uh, somebody had offered those up. So I'm just going to use some hot glue down in here to get these fastened in and get rid of that one piece of burnt if it shows up in my pieces. So, see these are all nice little rocks. Adding a bunch of those down in there. So, I'm going to let those settle, see what sticks. And what doesn't stick, I'm going to pull up out of there. And I'm going to grab that piece. There was a piece that went down in there that looked like it was burnt glue. We don't want that in there. All right. So let's let that dry for a second. All right. So I do still have some loose ones here. And actually, they've sunk a little bit. So I'm going to actually add another layer of them. And we'll let that mound up a little bit. We just, it's all right if it gets higher than our canvas because it's a geode, right? Now, all the things that we have just done, the glue, the rocks, all of that for this section of the canvas should keep the resin from leaking through, which is one of our goals. And I think that should be enough of those. All right, let that dry. We'll be back again. All right, so I have my resin mixed up and I am going to get ready what I do is I will cover the canvas with my resin and I will add in my stripes of color and then stripes of stones. So let's just begin. All right, so this is going to be whatever goes around my little geode thing. So I'm just going to add a little stripe of gold and this is just craft paint and what you want to know is if you haven't mixed it in with your resin already it will go on top and then it will spread out so if you like that effect that is good if you don't then that's not how you want to do that so each of these mix-ins Or I have blues and I have sand kind of colors. This one is brown. What I like to do is I like to just use a little measuring cup. Or this is actually not a measuring cup. It's actually my uh, shot glass. And then I just add my rocks wherever I want them. So I'm going to have this stripey stripe of gold. coming up underneath of my my uh, sand. Now this is a dark brown darker brown sand. All right. Now that was gold. This is Nicole's Craft Studio bronze.
isn't out this way. And so you just play with it. You could plan this ahead and draw it out on paper. I tend to just roll with it and just go with how I want it. And sometimes I change my mind at the last minute. So this is our geode painting with resin, acrylic paints, and little fix and fixative kind of rocks added in. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry I had to speed it up. It would have taken forever, but there it is. <laughs>